welcome to my channel. My name is Amir, and I talk about data, cloud, and machines. O'Reilly, an American learning company, conducted a survey from the subscribers to their data and AI newsletter back in June 2021. In the survey, where most of their subscribers are data scientists and data engineers, they asked the respondents what their compensation was, how happy they were with their job, where they are located, and what industry they're working in. They also asked about their concerns and their career development opportunities. Let's talk about demographics. A lot of these respondents are located in the United States and United Kingdom. There were 3,136 valid responses, 2,778 from the United States and 284 from the UK. So their report mostly focuses on the responses from the US with minor details from the UK. From 2,778 respondents in the US, 81% identified as men and 14%, which is 383 people, identified as women. 113 respondents used the pronouns of they or other. The survey is biased. The respondents are majorly in the data and software, 20% in the software, 4% in the computer hardware, 2% in the security, and the remainder majorly in the data science. In terms of location, 42% of the people lived in California, 9% in New York, 7% in Texas, and 6% in Massachusetts. Now, let's talk dollars. The average annual salary of their all respondents accounted for 146,000 US dollars. Wow. 34% of the salaries are between 100 to 150,000 USD. 26% of the salaries are between 150,000 to 200,000 US dollars. And the highest average salaries are in California at 176,000 US dollars. The average salary change over the last three years are $9,252, which is 2.25% every year. A very, a very small percentage of the respondents recorded salary decrease, 8%. 18% reported no change in their salary. Given the survey was conducted in 2021, I could see the reason living in the nature of the pandemic because a lot of the industries were unsure and they maybe decided not to increase any salaries or just decrease them, which is not fair. Let's talk about training and getting certifications. A vast majority of the respondents, which is 91%, unanimously said that they found training and on-the-job training to have a linear relationship with salary increase. Let's talk about something interesting. Well, it's not really interesting in a positive way. Salaries by gender. But before that, let's remember that, that only 14% of the respondents were women. Here is the bitter bit. Women's salaries were sharply lower than men's salaries, averaging at 126,000 US dollars, which is around 84% of the equivalent men's salary. And this was consistent among all educational degrees. It's funny to see that from the data, the biggest discrepancy was in the self-taught group. So, so people who didn't go to university for data, say, for data science and AI, women who were self-taught, were paid 72% of the men who were self-taught. Despite the salary differential, a big portion of women had advanced degree compared to men. It doesn't end here. Men saw more progressions and salary increases within the last years compared to women. Let's talk about programming languages. Which programming languages do you think got paid more? Python was dominant, 61%, followed by SQL, 54%. JavaScript, 32%. HTML, 29%. Discussing the connection between the salary and programming language is a bit tricky. When they looked at highest salaries and the programming languages associated with them, they found that the most used popular programming languages like Python, SQL, Java, were in the mid-range pay of 150,000 US dollars. The outliers were Rust, the programming language, at 180,000 US dollars. Go, 179,000 USD and a scholar 178,000 USD. Let's talk about salaries by industry. The greatest number of respondents worked in the software industry, 20% of the total, followed by consulting, 11%, healthcare, banking, and education, each at 8%. The average income for consultants was 150,000 USD, which is just slightly higher than the overall average. Computers slash hardwares, security, Cloud services and software were among the best paid industries. However, education and nonprofit organizations were at the bottom. 
I know that a lot of you have the question whether you need to get a certification from AWS or Azure. Let's look at the data from that section. Over a third of respondents, 37%, reported that they did not acquire any certificates over the last year. However, the top certification acquired was AWS Solutions Architect Associate, 3.9%, Microsoft Azure Fundamentals, 3.8%, and then two more AWS certifications. It's interesting. We know that Google Cloud is one of the three major cloud providers but only 1% of the respondents reported any Google certification. The last words. The average data and AI specialist gets paid around 150,000 USD. However, there were sharp state-by-state, -state, gender by gender differences in the data. People in California and men are better paid than people in other states and women. Training came out to be really important. It implies higher ability and job security. One of the biggest outcomes of this survey was that Machine learning is one of the most important parts of the technology that translates into better salaries. If you like this analysis, leave comments in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be doing a lot of these analyses.